In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve first order differential equations by the Laplace transform. This is question number two in the series. Just like in question number one, we'll be following these four steps to tackle our question, which reads, solve the first order differential equation y prime minus three y plus four is equal to nine t if y at zero is equal to two. And as you can tell, I've given this question a medium rating relative to what we did in question one. And the reason why is because this question is a little more involved. So starting with step number one, we have to take the Laplace transform of each side. So we'll take the transform of y prime minus the Laplace transform of 3y, and I'll pull out this 3 later, plus the Laplace transform of 4 is equal to the transform of 9t. Let's start by changing this with what's been given here where we can replace the transform of y prime with s times the transform of y minus what y is at zero, which is two. Just took care of that. Now, this part, like I said, I'll pull out that three and I have the Laplace transform of y. And in step number two, we actually have to solve for the transform of y. So I'll just leave that the way it is. And the Laplace transform of four, for that, I'll use transform number five. Take a look. Transform number five tells us that if we have a constant, which in our case is four, this one is one, we'll write down one over s. And then you take your one, you multiply it by one over s. So in our case, I'll multiply it by four. This becomes four times one over s. And lastly, we have the transform of nine t. According to this table, and I've also written this down here for reference, where if I have the transform of, let's say, t, I get 1 over s squared. In my case, it's 9, so I can pull out that 9 and replace the t, the Laplace transform of t, with 1 over s squared and multiply this by a factor of 9. Now let's clean this up. I'm going to take this term over, and I'm going to take this 2 over. This gives me s times the transform of y, that minus two no longer is there, minus three times the Laplace transform of y, and this term is no longer there, it's on the other side. Nine over s squared minus four over s plus two. Just like I did in question number one, notice that on the left side, the transform of y is in common. So I can factor that out, the Laplace transform of y, bracket s minus three, and the right side stays the way it is. Let's see where we are in our steps. In step number three, they say manipulate f at s until it matches one of the tables. Well, we haven't done that yet because we haven't solved for the Laplace transform of y. To do that, I'll divide both sides by s minus three, and this finally gives me what step number two asks of us, which is nine over s squared bracket s minus three minus four s bracket s minus three plus two over s minus three. Now in step number three, they want us to manipulate it until it matches one or more of the table entries. Now I've already found them for you, but if you're given the table, you can do it yourself manually. Notice that this one matches transform nine this one matches transform 10, and this one matches transform 28. So starting with this term, the only difference between the denominator here and the denominator here is that this one has plus a and this one has minus three. But that's not a big problem because I can change this into s plus bracket minus three. That means my a value is minus three. My b value on the other hand is nine. So using the following, I get nine over and for me, I have negative three, so negative three to the power of two is positive nine. That becomes a one, times e to the power of negative. Remember, a is negative three, so we have negative negative three times t plus, once again, a is negative three, times t minus one. I'll clean that up, where I get e to the power of three t minus 3t minus 1. All of this represents this term. Now, this term. We have minus 4 over s bracket s minus 3. Like I mentioned, this matches transform 10. 
my a value will be, again, negative 3. And there's a difference here. This should be a 3, although we have a 4. We'll compensate for that in a moment. I'll switch this term with that, where I have 1 minus e to the power of negative at. So minus 1, and again that was minus e to the power of negative at, which we have negative negative 3, so that's positive 3t. And remember, this was supposed to be minus 3, but it's 4. Now to overcome that problem, I can multiply this by 4 over 3, because if this were a 3, by multiplying it by 4 over 3, this 3 and that 3 would cancel out, leaving us with what it's supposed to be, which is 4. So you have to put that coefficient of 4 over 3. And finally, we have 2 over s minus 3. And I said that matches transform 9. And it does, but not perfectly, for the same reason as the previous term. This is supposed to be 1, whereas it's a 2. So I can pretend that that 2 is out here. And that's a 1. So transform 9 becomes e to the power of at. Starting with the coefficient of 2, so we have plus 2 times e to the power of 3t. And I didn't put negative 3t because this transform is already negative. So our a is 3, not negative 3. Let's see if we can clean this up. If I expand this negative 4 over 3 into these two terms, then I'll have like terms. And the negative 4 over 3 and the negative 1 will come together. This will give us a final answer of 5 over 3 times e to the power of 3t minus 3t, this term, plus a third. This represents f of s. And there you have it. That is how to solve first order differential equations by the Laplace transform.